just yeah. to fill it. So yeah. I'm going to put 30 strands of that cotton, so that's 10, that's 15, yeah. no, that's 20 rather, and that's 30. Yeah. Now you can see how easy it is to break, yeah. but at the end of the day I use a knife because my fingers get sore. Right, so that is just to stop that coming undone. We don't need those two anymore. Now what we need is a top hat to keep those 10 times 3 strands separated. This is to stop that from twisting when I'm doing it. Now, all I'm going to do now is to twist that so those 10 strands turn into 3 separate ones. When it overcomes the weight there, that hook will then spin in the opposite direction to the way I'm turning and would automatically lay the rope up behind it. Oh, now that is clever. <laughs> So I'm, I'm getting the right and the left hand lay of the Getting both at the same time. At the same Very time. Clever. But this is what you'll find on a rope walk. Yeah. But obviously this is on a much smaller scale. Then what they do in a rope walk, they get a bit of sand and they just polish it. Yeah. Well, we know this end won't come undone because there's a knot in it. Yeah. It's laid up properly. Neither will that end yeah. because you've got the right and the left hand lay. Yeah. So like any piece of rope, when children play with it, it will undo. So there you have your own piece of rope. <laughs> Sorry. And, 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 so have you made this? Yes. Yeah.